Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the ISI Indian Statistical Institute Bachelor of Mathematics Honors Program. So this is a very prestigious undergrad program for those interested to go into the field of mathematics and is offered by the prestigious Indian Statistical Institute. So in this video we will be talking about the scope, the eligibility, the selection procedure, the number of seats and the stipend associated with this very program. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the scope of this program. Now this program is a three-year undergraduate program. Since it is an undergraduate program, it is a three-year program. And it basically focuses on mathematical topics like basic mathematics, then probability, statistics, physics, computing. All those stuff is covered in this program. And it is a very rigorous program. And currently it is offered only at the ISI Bengaluru campus. Now talking about what is the various career aspects or career prospects of for the students after going through this rigorous three-year program. So after your past or after you have completed your uh, undergrad degree, you can decide or you can prefer to go for an academic career, uh, and you can go for PhD and masters in programs which can be in the fields of mathematics, statistics, computer science, and mathematical physics, and so on and so forth. There is an as you know, there is an endless um, dimension up to which mathematical knowledge and, uh, is required and it can be applied in any field. So therefore, there is no boundary to which you can extend your academic pedigree. So that is one portion of it. Apart from that, if you want to go for jobs, if you want to go for jobs, then there are jobs galore in the private and the public sector organizations in which you can apply and ultimately get in. And these kind of jobs basically work in the applications of mathematics. So data analytics, big data and all those stuff is a major portion of taking up the poor majority of the poor people who ultimately go out go through this very program so this is in short the scope of this program which is the b math honors program offered in the isi bangalore campus now let's talk about the eligibility criteria the eligibility criteria for this b math program so the for the undergraduate programs at isi the eligibility criteria is almost the same for b stat and b math the eligibility criteria is almost the same with the difference being in this, uh, there is no difference in general, but the only criteria that you have to fulfill is that you must have passed your class 12th or the class 10 plus 2 exam with mathematics and English as the subjects. If you have completed this criteria, then you are automatically eligible to sit for this exam and ultimately get into this program. So this is the thing about the eligibility criteria. Talking about a seat distribution. Let's talk about the number of seats which are available for this program. Now, in this program, which is the BMAT Honors program, there are a total of 50 seats, of which 25 is for the general, 14 is for the OBC and CL students, 7 is for the SC students, and 4 seats are earmarked for the students from the ST category. So, this is the seat distribution for this very program. Let's talk about the selection procedure to this program. Now, the selection procedure to this program is similar to that uh, selection procedure which is followed for the B STAT program as well. So, the selection is based on the candidate's performance in the written tests and also the subsequent interview. Now, the, the written test is way for some students. Now, who are those students? So, those students who have been selected as INMO awardees. So, INMO means the International Mathematical Olympiad uh, awardees to participate in the International Mathematical Olympia training camp in the current year or any previous years, those students do not have to appear in the written test. So this is one criteria. Now talking about the written test. So the written test is basically uh, comprises or basically comes the questions which are asked are basically questions from the mathematics and the level of the difficulty is basically at the 10 plus 2 level. The questions are both in multiple choice and descriptive type format. So this is the format of the questions. Now, based on the performance in the written test and uh, a number of candidates, if you are clearing the written test, in that case, the candidate will be called for an interview, after which they will be just on their performance in both the written and the interview, and thereafter, they will be ultimately, if they are, uh, if they are uh, satisfying the minimum criteria on the cutoffs and all those stuff, in that case, they are, will be eligible to get into this program. Now let's talk about the stipend which is offered. 
So there's no tuition fees associated with this program. Rather, you will be getting a stipend of fellowship of rupees three thousand per month, along with the contingency grant per year of rupees three thousand. So this is the um, stipend stuff which is associated with this program. So I guess after going through this video, you must have had a good knowledge about this program in general. And in case you want any more information regarding the same topic or you need guidance or you're seeking some guidance or looking for some help to help you crack this exam and get into this program, then you can comment in the comment section below. And we at Substance Classes will try to reach out to you and help you in your quest to get into this prestigious program. Thank you very much.